Spotify knows you better than you know yourself. It's curating the soundtrack to your life, predicting your moods, and it's doing it all without you even noticing. Sounds like science fiction? Well, welcome to the brave new world of music in 2024, where the line between human creativity and artificial intelligence is blurring faster than a DJ's beat drop. Get ready to have your mind blown and your playlist scrutinized because we're about to lift the curtain on the AI maestros orchestrating your every listening moment. All right, you brilliant melody miners and harmony hunters, brace yourselves for another ear-opening episode. I'm your host, Theodore, reluctantly ready to be your guide through the labyrinth of algorithms and the symphony of silicon chips that are redefining music as we know it. Oh, and before my brain decides to wander off into a tangent about the fascinating history of the phonograph, did you know Thomas Edison's first recorded words were, Mary had a little lamb? Weird flex, Tom. Let me introduce our resident experts, Gwen, our AI audio alchemist, and Charlie, our digital rhythm ranger. Today, my dear sonic cyborgs, we're diving headfirst into the world of AI and its impact on, well, every note you hear. From AI-composed soundtracks that make you cry without a human shedding a tear to write them, to streaming services that know your musical soul better than you do. Cue existential crisis in three, two, one. So tune up those eardrums, my cherished auditory adventurers. Whether you're a vinyl purist, a playlist junkie, or just someone who's wondered why Spotify seems to read your mind, this episode is your backstage pass to understanding the AI-powered concert of our time. And remember, this is episode 17 of our AI and music composition and production series, part of an entire day exploring creative realms and professional growth. Today, we're seeing how AI is not just changing the tune, but potentially becoming the unseen composer of the soundtrack to our lives. Let's drop the needle on this digital symphony and see if we can decode the future of music before my attention span decides to shuffle to the next track. Again. Ever get caught off guard by like a video game soundtrack? Mm -hmm. I was playing one recently, and the music was so good, so epic, and orchestral. Right. I actually stopped playing for a second and thought, wait a minute, did they hire like a whole orchestra for this? Yeah. Turns out there's a good chance it wasn't a traditional composer at all. Uh-huh. AI. Yeah, that's right. AI is composing music now, and it's kind of blowing my mind. We're not just talking about simple melodies either. We're talking full-blown, complex compositions. Okay, hold on. Back up a second. AI, as in artificial intelligence, that AI composing music how does that even work yeah so think about it this way ai learns by analyzing massive amounts of data right sure i've heard that so in this case you feed it a massive library of musical compositions like everything from classical symphonies to modern pop songs so like mozart to billy eilish exactly and even more than that the AI dives into this musical ocean and it starts to recognize patterns. It figures out how different notes sound together, what chord progressions sound pleasing, rhythmic structures, that kind of thing. It's essentially learning the language of music. Okay, that makes sense. So by studying all this music, it learns the rules, the building blocks of how to create music. Right. But then here's the really cool part. It doesn't just stop at copying. It starts to experiment. It begins to generate its own melodies, its own harmonies. It's like teaching a kid the alphabet and then suddenly they're writing their own poetry. Wow. And we've seen this in action, right? Like, didn't they fool a bunch of experts into thinking an AI had written a Mozart piece a while back? Yeah. That was David Cope's Experiments in Musical Intelligence, the EMI project. He created an AI that studied a ton of Mozart's work and then started composing in a really similar style. And it fooled some real Mozart experts. It was a huge deal at the time, raised all sorts of questions about originality and creativity in art. I bet. It makes you think, if an AI can mimic a musical genius like Mozart, yeah. what does that mean for the future of music? 
What does that even mean for the definition of art? Absolutely. And those are big questions. I don't think anyone has the answers yet. But what we do know is that AI music isn't just some futuristic fantasy anymore. It's here and it's evolving incredibly fast. So you're saying my dream of composing a symphony isn't completely out of reach, even though I can barely play chopsticks on the piano. Like, are there tools out there that could help someone like me tap into my inner Beethoven? Well, I don't know about Beethoven, but there are definitely some cool tools out there. Yeah. One that's causing a stir is AIVA, Artificial Intelligence Virtual Artist. AIVA, okay. Yeah. Like it's an AI composer you can collaborate with. Exactly. And it's not limited to one genre. AIVA can create everything from orchestral pieces to pop songs to video game soundtracks. Okay, so instead of spending a fortune hiring a composer for a video game, yeah. you could just have AIVA whip something up. You could, yeah. And a lot of developers are starting to do just that. It's not just about affordability, though. AI can actually help push creative boundaries. How so? Well, it can generate musical ideas a human might not think of. It's like having a brainstorming partner who can speak the language of music, someone who can take your basic ideas and spin them in unexpected directions. So AI is a muse, basically. In a way, yeah. And this is really just the tip of the iceberg. AI music is evolving so quickly. Who knows what incredible sonic landscapes we'll be exploring in the coming years. Welcome back to The Deep Dive. Okay, this is all incredibly cool, but it also kind of makes me wonder if AI can compose music, what does that mean for human composers? Yeah. Are they out of a job? Are robots about to replace rock stars? That's the big question, isn't it? It's a question a lot of people are asking, and we'll definitely get into that. But first, there's another side to this whole AI music thing that I think we can all relate to, even if we don't realize it. Oh, you mean like how AI is changing how we listen to music? Exactly. Like, have you ever noticed how on Spotify or Apple Music, they always seem to recommend songs you end up loving? Yeah, all the time. It's kind of freaky sometimes how well they know my taste. It's like they're reading my mind. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, it's not magic, although it can feel like it. It's actually AI at work. So spill the beans. How does it actually work? It's all about data. Every time you listen to a song, skip a track, add something to a playlist, those streaming services, they're tracking it all. Wait, seriously, they're keeping tabs on every single listen. Yep. And it's not just what you listen to, but when you listen, like what time of day you're jamming out to certain genres, if you're listening to music while you work out, things like that. Wow, I had no idea it was that in-depth. It is. And all that data helps these services build a unique musical profile for you. So if I'm more of a blast 80s rock after a long day kind of person, Spotify is going to pick up on that. Exactly. They use what they call collaborative filtering to find other users with similar tastes to you. Okay, so like if Spotify finds a bunch of other people who also love, say, Def Leppard after work. Then it's more likely to recommend Def Leppard or other similar artists you might like, even if you've never listened to them before. It's like musical matchmaking. So I've got a whole squad of musical soulmates out there, and Spotify is playing matchmaker. That's kind of cool, actually. Right. And on top of that, there's something called content-based filtering. Which is? So instead of just looking at what other people listen to, Content-based filtering analyzes the actual music itself, like the tempo, the key, the instruments used, even the emotional tone. So, like, it can tell if a song is happy or sad. Exactly. And it uses that information to recommend songs with similar characteristics to what you already enjoy. Okay, so even if I've never heard a song before, if it's got a similar vibe to my other favorites there's a good chance it'll pop up in my Discover Weekly playlist. Exactly. It's like your own personal AI DJ learning your taste better and better over time. Okay, now that's both amazing and a little bit creepy. It's like, how much does this thing really know about me? Yeah. And where is this all going? That's a good question. I mean, some people are talking about playlists that change with your mood in real time, adapting to how you're feeling. Wait, what? Like, how would that even work? Well, they're already experimenting with things like biofeedback headphones that can detect your heart rate and other physiological responses. So you're telling me that someday my headphones might sense that I'm stressed and automatically cue up some chill out music. It's definitely a possibility. Okay, that's both kind of cool and a little Black Mirror-ish. Mm. But we're getting a bit off track here. We started by talking about AI composing music. And now it's curating our listening experiences, too. Mm -hmm. It makes you wonder, what does that leave for the humans in all of this? Yeah, it's a lot to process. On one hand, you've got this powerful AI that can write music and even kind of predict what we want to hear. 
It's yeah. impressive, but then it also makes you think, where do humans fit into all of this? What happens to musicians, to songwriters, when AI can do so much? It's a question a lot of people are asking, and for good reason. There's definitely some anxiety about AI replacing human creativity, not just in music, but across the board. It's that whole robots are taking over fear, right? Like, will we even need human musicians in the future if AI can compose, produce, and curate everything for us? It's a valid concern, but honestly, I don't think it's that simple. Throughout history, we've seen technology disrupt and transform art. Look at photography, for example. When it first emerged, some people thought it would be the death of painting. Right, like, why paint a portrait when you can just take a picture? Exactly. But of course, painting didn't disappear, it evolved. Artists started exploring new styles, new ways of expressing themselves that a camera couldn't replicate. Impressionism, abstract art, all these movements were influenced by the emergence of photography. So you're saying AI could actually push human creativity in new directions? Absolutely. Instead of seeing it as a threat, think of AI as a new tool in the musician's toolbox. Okay, so how would that work in practice? Imagine a songwriter struggling with writer's block. They could hum a melody into their computer, and the AI could generate different chord progressions, suggest instrumentation, maybe even offer up lyrical themes. It's like having a digital brainstorming partner. Exactly. And on a more technical level, AI can handle a lot of the time-consuming tasks in music production, like mixing and mastering. This frees up artists to focus more on the creative side of things. So it could potentially level the playing field, giving more people access to the tools to create music? even if they don't have a big studio budget. Precisely. But even with all of that, I think there's something essential about human expression that AI can't replicate. The emotions, the lived experiences, the stories we pour into our art, those are inherently human. It's a difference between a technically perfect performance and one that gives you chills. All right. Exactly. No matter how advanced AI gets, I believe we'll always crave that human connection in our art. It's like we connect with the vulnerability, the imperfections, the sheer humanity that shines through in music created by other humans. Absolutely. And that's why ultimately I think it's not about AI versus humans. It's about finding ways for the two to coexist and even complement each other. It's a new era of musical exploration with AI opening up possibilities we never could have imagined. Definitely an exciting time to be a music lover. It really is. Oh. Well, on that note, we'll leave you to ponder the future of music. Who knows what sonic landscapes await us? Maybe you'll be the one composing the next chart topper with a little help from AI. Until next time, keep those ears open and those minds curious. Esteemed earbuds and beloved beat breakers, we've reached the end of our journey through the AI-powered soundscape of modern music. Feeling like your brain just went through a complex key change? Yeah, mine too. So, what's your take? Ready to embrace our new AI composers, or are you clutching your vintage vinyl a little tighter? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Are you team Bring On The AI Symphony, or Keep Your Algorithms Off My Albums? Your voice matters in this grand concert we call the future of music. Remember, every musical revolution in history started with someone asking, what if? So keep questioning, keep exploring, and who knows? Maybe you'll be the one to create the next big AI human music collaboration. Just promise me you'll give your AI co-writer a cool stage name, okay? Until next time, stay curious, stay skeptical, and for the love of all that is melodic, don't forget that there's still magic in a perfectly imperfect human performance. This is Theodore signing off from the intersection of bits and beats. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an existential crisis to attend to. Does my playlist really know me better than I know myself? Let's hope not, or should I hope it does? Ugh, my brain hurts.